Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. So, welcome to Naresh Technologies. In this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question in Core Java that is, what is an array and why so we go for array variables. Okay. See the question, question, what is array? What is array and simply, so why we go for arrays? It is a very simple. For example, generally if you want to store the elements, we use a primitive types. Suppose here I am declaring one variable, primitive variable A. Then A gets memory allocation at some location, memory will be allocated. Next if you want to store any value into A, suppose 100 we are storing, we are initializing and that 100 will go and store into A. Next, I want to store one more element. So, whenever we try to store one more element, then the existing element is replaced with the new element. So, nothing but. So, what is the drawback of uh, primitive variables is using primitive variables, you can store only one element at a time. But if you want to store more than one element at a time, for example, students information, students marks information if you want to store, like a phone numbers if you want to store, like account numbers you want to store. Uh, for example, 100 student maths marks if you want to store, then how to allocate the memory sir? So, will you declare so student 1, student 2, student 3 like that 100 variables? Impossible, because a declaration of 100 variables as well as working with 100 variables is also very complex task. That is the only reason they introduce the concept of a derived data type is called array, is called array. So, using array, we can store more than one element of different, I mean of a uh, more than one element into one variable. See for example, in Java, how we have to declare so, uh, means what an, an array variable. So, generally in other languages like in a C language or in a C++ language, here simply so we are declaring integer array. So, we are declaring like this, suppose so directly we will specify the size, so, but in Java right. So, this declaration is not allowed. In Java arrays are arrays are objects, so memory will be allocated with the help of new operator with the help of new operator. So, we need to allocate the memory. So, how and what is the syntax? So, this is the syntax, syntax to declare array variable and with the example if you see you will get more clarity. If you want to declare integer array int array name a r r and here we should specify, we should specify the size with the help of new. So, new operator executes at the time of application execution. So, so memory will be allocated at run time while application is running. So, here according to this, so syntax we can write easily. So, int is a data type and next one arr is an identity, is nothing but name, so identity and here it is a square brackets equals to new and here it is a data type of size data type of size. This is the syntax, how to declare array, how to declare array inside the Java means what? So, this is the syntax, this is declaration. Then, so memory will be allocated, so how means what? How many bytes? Suppose integer occupies 4 bytes memory in Java. So, total size is a 5, so 5 into 4, 20 bytes memory will be allocated. 20 bytes memory allocates to this variable. So, nothing but here is a 5 locations so will be allocated and 5 locations the address, the address will be stored into the variable ARR. ARR is holding this address so that it is pointing, it is pointing right. So, this is, so what is array and what is the use of array? Hope you understood well. So, thank you all. Thank you.